how to adjust your walking bones. Many factors between shipping, assembly, and use of the treadmill can cause it to slip and slide. First, let's take a look at a slipping belt. The only tool that you'll need is the Allen wrench provided to you when you bought the machine. The first step in making any adjustments to your treadmill is to disconnect the power supply from the wall. Notice I've got it plugged into a surge protector like the manual says. So the adjustments we're going to make right now are for adjusting the tension of the walking belt. The reason we would adjust the tension is because over time your belt stretches a little bit and settles in to, uh, to your workout patterns and, and you know individual weight of users and things. So it, it needs to be adjusted to just fine-tune it and get it running back the way it was when you got the treadmill new. Um, it may feel a little bit slushy, uh, kind of like walking on sand or a little bit like, like slipping slightly on ice as you're using it. And those are symptoms that indicate that you probably need to tighten the belt a little bit. So using the large end of my wrench that came with the treadmill, I'm going to insert it into the hole on either side at the back here. And there's a bolt down inside that hole which when I adjust those two bolts on each side together, it pulls the belt tighter. I've got to be sure to adjust them together or else I will adjust the tracking of the belt, which will make the belt wander to the left or right, causing the edges to rub on the treadmill, making it wear out too soon, and also making a really loud noise as I use the machine. So the way I make sure that I adjust them together is by keeping one end of the wrench upward and then tightening it half a turn. Tighter is clockwise, or to the right, you know, righty-tighty. So half a turn to the right, and now my wrench is pointed downward, went from top to bottom. We'll do the same thing on this side. Top to bottom like that, half a turn tighter. Now I'll plug the treadmill back in, power it up, and see if it's not feeling just just better, feeling normal. If I need to make another adjustment, power off the machine, unplug it from the wall, and do another half turn adjustment. These will get it running back the way it was when it was new.